So before we get into the video, I have a question to ask you guys, and you can either vote in a poll, uh, which I'll leave uh, right about now, or you can tell me in the comment section below. Uh, in Madden 20, I'm, I'm thinking about starting a league, 16 teams with new teams and new players, um, uh, completely uh, a whole new league uh, and stuff. So I just want to know, do you guys want me to have that on this channel or on another channel, my man channel, which I will leave in the comment section below if you haven't already checked it out. Um, so basically, it will be a league with 16 teams of uh, all new teams, no NFL teams there, all new teams uh, with all new players, and then every day uh, there will be a game. Uh, and I just want to know, do you guys want to see that on this channel or my Madden channel? Just vote, uh, and then I will know. But uh, let's get right into the video. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Oak Tree Football Channel, and also welcome back to another uh, 2020 college football team record prediction video. Um, so today I'll be doing the University of Georgia, the Georgia Bulldogs, um, another SEC team, I know. Uh, after the next few ones, probably won't be SEC. Um, I've already done LSU and Alabama, if you want to go check those out after this. But today, we will, do, we'll, we will be doing the Georgia Bulldogs. Now, Georgia hasn't been to the college football playoff since they lost in the national championship uh, in 2018 against the, uh, Alabama. But they have been pretty successful anyway. They've been, one, they've been one of the better teams in the SEC East. It's really been between them and Florida. Um, and they are a very, very good football team. Uh, uh, getting Jamie Newman from Wake Forest to be their new quarterback. Really, really good. Uh, he's going to be great, I think, this season. And um, they had one of the top recruiting classes in the country. So it does look like it can be a very good season for Georgia. So let's get into the schedule. As you can see, they went 12-2 and last season. And they had the number one recruiting class in the country. Um... So let's get uh, looking at their schedule. Week one, they played Virginia. Virginia was pretty good last season, and they actually were ranked at the end of the year. Um, but losing some players this season is going to hurt. I'm not sure Virginia is going to be as good this year. That will be Jamie Newman's first start, most likely, for Georgia. And I think it's a winnable game, especially being at home. Uh, it should be a winnable game. Uh, for Georgia. Week 2, they play ETSU, which is on a short week, only five ga uh, five days after they played Virginia. But still, ETSU should really not put up a fight. It should be a pretty easy win for Georgia. They are definitely better than ETSU. Uh, week 3, though, this one could be very, very close because they are playing the Alabama Crimson Tide, and it is in Alabama. If it was in Georgia, I do think Georgia would win this game. But because it's in Alabama, I'm questioning it a little bit because Alabama, I, I did the record prediction a few days ago. Alabama is a very good football team. Alabama is a very, very good football team, but so is Georgia. And this, I think this game is going to be so important to the college football playoff and who wins the SEC this season because the, uh, these are two of the top teams in the SEC. There, in my opinion, there are four top teams in the SEC. These are two of them. So, it's such an important game. Such a big game. Great players. It's going to be very fun to watch. Uh, and it's going to be a very close game. Uh, especially because it's in Alabama. That's going to give uh, Bama a better shot at it. Uh, so, that is going to be an exciting game. Week 4, ULM. Not that tough a challenge. It's good that after the Bama game, they have an easier game. And then week five, another easier game against Vanderbilt. Two easy games in a row. They should both be wins because they are both at home also. Um, so at this point, I think they're probably, they've won either every game or lost to Bama and won everything else. Uh, week six could be a challenge to playing the University of Auburn. Auburn is a very good football team. I just don't think they're as good as Georgia. Uh, and Georgia is at home as well. Uh, so I do think that should be a win for Georgia. It might be closer than some people might expect, but I do think it should be a win for Georgia. Uh, week 7, they have to go to Missouri to play. Missouri, of course. Um, but it shouldn't be that tough a game. Missouri isn't the, uh, isn't the best team. Uh, it's kind of, um, 
Yeah, I mean, that should be an easy win, I think. And then after that, they have a bye week. And that is at a good time because the week after, they have a huge, huge, huge matchup against the Florida Gators. This game is huge. Uh, I think whoever wins this game wins the SEC East um, because both of these teams will... Both these teams, I think, can win the rest of the games this season. With the exception of a few, maybe like Georgia, maybe a loss to Alabama. But if if they can beat all the other teams, if Florida wins all the games and Georgia wins all their games, except for this one, whoever wins this game is going to go to the SEC Championship game. Such an important game. Both really good football teams. And earlier I was saying that the top four teams... Uh, there are top. There are four top teams in the SEC that I think uh, can that are like the best teams and can be in the uh, hunt for the college football playoff. Um, Florida is one of those teams, along with Georgia and Alabama, and the other one being LSU. Those are the four top teams, in my opinion, in the SEC, um, and it is in Florida, which is why Florida could have a very good shot at winning this game. This is like the Alabama game. If it was in Georgia, I think Georgia would win. But because it's going to be in Florida, that's going to make it a lot tougher, and it's really going to change how it goes. Um, week 10, uh, Georgia has an easier game, though, against South Carolina. I mean, I'm saying easier. They lost to South Carolina last year. But South Carolina isn't the best football team, and they really are losing one of, if not their best player, in Javon Kinlaw, who was a first-round pick in the draft, of course. Um, it is at South Carolina, but I, I still do think that should be a fairly easy win. Maybe South Carolina can upset them for the second year in a row, but I, I don't think so. I mean, South Carolina is actually, it, they do have some good pieces. They're just, like I said in the LSU prediction video yesterday, they're just not on the same level as some other colleges are. Uh, so next, week 11, they play the Tennessee Volunteers. Tennessee is, a, I think, a team that will be ranked this season. They are very good, but they're just not on the same level as Georgia are. Uh, like I said, they are a very good football team, and I think they ha will have a good season. I just don't think they will be as good as teams like Georgia or Alabama or Florida, and I can't see them winning this game. I think it might be a little bit close, but especially because Georgia's at home, I think it should be a fairly, well, not easy, but it should be a comfortable win for the Bulldogs. Week 12, they go to Kentucky to play Kentucky. This game, I think, can be similar to the Tennessee game with a similar scoreline. Um, I think it will be closer because it's in Kentucky. Um, if it was in Georgia, I think it would, uh, it would be a pretty easy one for Georgia. Kentucky is a team that I think can be ranked this season, or if not ranked, be pretty close to it. Um, they are losing their biggest playmaker in Lynn Bowden, which is really going to hurt, but they do still have some talent returning this season. So Kentucky could be a good team. Um, just, just like Tennessee, though, they're not on level as some of these other guys are. Um, and I think it might be close, but should be a, a win for the Bulldogs. And then to end the season out, they play Georgia Tech. Uh, this should not be a tough game whatsoever. I can't see Georgia Tech putting up much of a fight. Uh, Georgia Tech really is not, especially compared to like even Tennessee and Kentucky, Georgia Tech just is not that good of a team. And it should be uh, a pretty easy win for the Bulldogs. So now I will be going through every game once again and I'll be saying if I think they'll win or lose and then I will end it off with a record prediction. So week one against Virginia. Uh, I think this will be a win. I think it'll be closer than some people might expect, especially with it being Jamie Newman's first start against a team that was pretty good last season. But it should be a win um, by maybe like around 10 points. Uh, I, I think maybe, it may be even less than that, maybe like seven, but something, uh, Around that, I believe. Week 2 against UTSU. Uh, ETSU, sorry. Should be a win. I don't think it'll be much of a challenge for Georgia. ETSU, like I said earlier, just isn't the best football team. Uh, and they shouldn't put up a fight, I don't think, uh, whatsoever. Week 3, this game is going to be so close. Really hard to predict. Uh, against Alabama, the Crimson Tide, and I was really debating on who would win this game, but in the end, I did decide on Georgia. Uh, I do think it'll be a very, very close game, and it's so important to the college football playoff and just the SEC overall. Um, such an important game, 
But I do think Georgia will be able to win that game to start 3-0. and And then I think they'll win uh, back-to-back games against ULM and Vanderbilt. Not tough, not tough games. I think they'll be able to win both of those fairly comfortably. Uh, and then week six against Auburn, I do think it will be a win. I think it will be pretty close because I do think Auburn will be a good team this season. I just think it will be a win. Uh, and then week seven, another win uh, against Missouri. Missouri shouldn't put up much of a fight, even though Missouri is at home. Shouldn't put up much of fu- much of a fight. Uh, and Georgia will be off to a 7-0 record to start the season. They then have a bye week, and then they have to play the University of Florida, just like the Alabama game. I was really, really debating this one. Such an important game, just like the Alabama game. Really similar game. Uh, it is on the road, which is going to make it a lot tougher for Georgia. But I do think Georgia will be able to win this game barely. I think it will be very, very close. I think they'll be able to squeeze out a win uh, in advance. 2-8-0, and, oh. and then I do think they'll be South Carolina. Uh, it might be a bit closer than people think. I wouldn't be surprised if it is a bit closer than people think, but it should still be a win for the Bulldogs. Week 11 against Tennessee, I think this will be a win. Uh, it might be a bit close, but I do think it will be a win. Same with Week 12 against Kentucky. Uh, it might be a bit closer than people would expect, but I definitely do think it will be a win. And then to end the season off, Against Georgia Tech, like I said earlier, shouldn't be much of a problem this game. Uh, And I do think it will be a win. And that will give the Georgia Bulldogs a record of a perfect 12-0 this season. And I think that will help them advance to the SEC Championship game. They're just such a good roster all around. I think Jamie Newman will have a huge impact in his first season. I think that will be a huge reason why they go undefeated. I think on the defensive side of the ball, I think Aziz Ojolari could have a really good season at the linebacker position. Really well coached. Just really, really good team overall. Uh, And it should be a great season from Georgia. That is what I'm expecting this season. Uh, And I do think... uh, I do have them at a 12 and 0 record. The worst I could see them at is 9 and 3, uh, with losses to uh, Florida, Alabama, and maybe Tennessee or something. But I, I think um, the worst that we could see them at would be 9 and 3, uh, and I, I could see them being 10 and 2 or 11 and 1. But I think 12 and 0 uh, makes the most sense. Such a good roster, such a good team overall. So those are my thoughts on the Georgia Bulldogs. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below and also tell me what college you want to see me do next. Um, but thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new around here, here feel free to subscribe for more daily football content, both college football and NFL. Um, uh, if you did enjoy, uh, don't forget to leave, leave a like. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.